getting close to that $200 mark, but you know, the hours are coming in. It's officially been six hours. So yeah, hopefully we can, uh, in the next hour or two get the rest of the money. So it doesn't take longer than eight hours in a day. Cause that's intense. Gig economy drivers, it's Tony, your hustling hyena. Today is day number 50. <laughs> day number 50 of trying to save 12 to $15,000 for a Turo car. I'm gonna go ahead and start it off right off the bat. I got some good news and I got some bad news. And like always, at least for me, I always wanna hear the bad news first. <laughs> the bad news is, there's probably not gonna be some beans content for a while. I just dropped her off at the airport. <laughs> we might not see her for a while. If you miss her, let me know in the comments below. I'll let her know. She likes to read the comments, so be nice. For the good news is that I did read your comments on my last video and I thought about it pretty hard. And I think I'm gonna do just a version of both. I think I'm gonna continue trying to make this money. I don't want the content to change too much, but I did start looking for a car to put on Turo. I did get a recommendation for a convertible Mustang, which I think would be pretty cool, but I'm gonna be looking into my area a little bit more just to make sure I got the right car so that I can go ahead and purchase it and put some content on that as well. Anyway, I'm at the Walmart. It's been a while. It's actually been two weeks since I've been back. So let's get to working again and let's see if we can make $200 today. I don't have to go back home early. Girlfriend's all right with it. So yeah, let's make this money today. Many, many minutes later. So it's been about 30 minutes and Instacart has not sent me a single order and Spark sent me a really bad order. I declined and maybe they got mad because they have not sent me anything else. Luckily, DoorDash sent me an order. Not a great one, $9.75. It's a shop and deliver DoorDash style going about three point something miles. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that taken care of and then we'll go back to the Walmart and see if we can get back on our grind. So I got quite a dilemma. I just got to the CVS, but Spark sent me an express order for $32 going 5.6 miles, a shop and deliver order. I think. Bye, Felicia. Yeah, I think I made the right decision. Let's get this shop for. That's why I can't find you? Well, that's where I parked today. You're busy over there. <laughs> All right, I'll see you soon. Order loaded up and I was talking to the op. She's saying she has not gotten an Instacart order since she started. Now I know she normally starts at nine, which is pretty bad if she has not gotten an Instacart order at all. I'm just glad I got that Spark order. And uh, yeah, I think it was the better choice, right? Better than possibly waiting on the express order and then it gets 
removed off and then I'm just stuck with a $9 order. The only bad thing about this bark order is by the time I get back, it's gonna take me 15 minutes to drive there. It's almost like I lost two hours because I got here around noon, ended up getting that order pretty late. And now I'm gonna get to that customer's plate around 125, so. Yeah. It's okay though. We have almost an unlimited amount of time to get to $200, so $30, pretty good first order in my book. Let's just hope it doesn't take me another eight to nine hours to get $200. Look at this person here. Hello. <laughs> how, far, how far away is your order? I get there at 125, so. <laughs> Damn. I know. back at the Walmart and it's been pretty slow. I missed out on a $36 order from Walmart Instacart. So it looks like Instacart's picking up. I ended up taking though a $12 order for two miles on Instacart just no. because I kind of want to work and I don't want this hour to go to waste, which kind of sucks. But yeah. Let's get a shop for, I guess. Please leave at front door up the stairs. Thank you. <sighs> so ladies and gentlemen, in my desperation, I ended up taking a 7.4 mile order for $35. It's an Instacart order. I don't think it's that great, but if it's that slow today, I don't think it's worth waiting for the perfect order. I think it's just time to get whatever order is over $20 so I can beat this $200 challenge in a reasonable time. How long have you been living here? Yeah, I live right down there. It's like, yeah, my ex -husband you said right here is okay?
that was insane. All four drop-offs were far away, but not from each other. So, of course, it wasn't that bad to drop them off, but it was a 25-minute drive to get there. Pretty crazy. Now, I just got another order. It is 2.1 miles. I think it's 20 bucks, another shop and deliver order. So, I'm going to get that ready. Pretty happy with the outcome so far. Um, getting close to that $200 mark, but you know, the hours are coming in. It's officially been six hours so yeah hopefully we can uh in the next hour or two get the rest of the money so it doesn't take longer than eight hours in a day because that's intense our quarter completed and it's been a while since I got myself a Grubhub order and it's 10 McDonald's. It's about $9, but less than three miles. I don't know about you guys, but I personally love McDonald's. And if I'm hungry enough, I always check the app for free fries or fries if you buy anything for a dollar. Not that I'm gonna do that right now because I just had a hefty protein bar. I am back to trying to lose weight because I've been getting super duper pudgy. I don't know if you guys know that, but I used to be in some nice shape some sexy sexy shape but lately i've been more of a kind of like a round shape hi the grubhub order what is the last three digits the last three digits are thank you have a good one have a good one thank you. hello thank you yeah of course thank you gonna take a quick little photo all right have a wonderful day on my way back to the Walmart and I've actually been receiving a lot of Instacart orders that have been pretty pretty bad um, I don't know about you guys but later on during the day my Instacart orders get worse not better so usually around nighttime maybe they feel like people are desperate they're gonna make money so Usually they don't tip as hard. I got the best order out of the bunch that I ended up receiving. Took a $20 one for four miles. Thought it was pretty good. I'm gonna get that shot for as soon as I get to the Walmart, but it's already getting late. It's starting to get dark. I'm not giving up yet, but $200 is harder to get now than it was last year. You guys are visiting? Yeah. <laughs> nice, bro. Nice. Hell yeah. yeah, yeah. You got this? All right. You want to hold it this yes. way? Let's go. All right. This way. Uh, yeah. All, All right, right, man. Thank you so Thank much. You. Have a good one. I am back to the Walmart and thank God it's summer. It's still pretty light outside and it's getting close to that eight hour mark for this $200. I need about $15, a little bit less, I think $14 to be able to make that $200 go. Hopefully I can get something that I can do pretty quick. That's $14 so I can call it a day. Don't want to work over eight hours, but it looks like at the moment we're about to go ahead and do that. A few moments later. So I've been at the Walmart for about 15 minutes and I was losing hope, but DoorDash came through, McDonald's order, 2.4 miles, $9, it's below the 15, but if I can get two DoorDash orders, that'll be much quicker than me shopping an Instacart order for $10, so DoorDash for the win here. And I don't wanna open the door. It looks like there's an easy way in, but I gotta park. Like an ass. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. Well, since I'm a sucker, I ended up taking one of those Instacart $10 orders that have been lingering around.
Hi, I have something for the front desk yep. for Lisa. Yep. Okay, Thank great. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. You too, guys. $200 in eight hours and 45 minutes. Let me know in the comments below if that's worth it. Baby, <laughs> 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 <laughs>